A uh, new report out today shows inflation is slowing ever so slightly. It's likely not enough for anyone to really notice at the checkout stand right now. The numbers out today show consumer prices in April jumped 8.3% from a year ago. That is down slightly from 8.5% in March, which was a 40-year high. Some analysts think inflation may keep falling as the Federal Reserve raises interest rates again in the coming months. And those prices are affecting just about everything, including fishing supplies. We're just two days from the Minnesota fishing opener. This year is going to be different and more expensive. Our Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is calling it fishflation. The boat, the bite, the catch. It's all anyone's talking about at Capra's and Blaine. Definitely for walleye, jig and a minnow, can't go wrong. Ben Bosica fishes nearly every single day in the Twin Cities and beyond. Bald Eagle, then when I can go up to Grand Rapids. I'm going to Mille Lacs this weekend. He's going to the opener, and that trip is going to cost him and all other anglers extra. Take gas. A year ago, a trip from the cities to Minnewaska would cost $48 round trip. This year, it's 71. A trip to Mille Lacs last year cost 36. This year, it's 53. And if you're really heading north to Lake of the Woods, a trip that last year cost $116 in gas money will now cost 170. And the cost of supplies are going up too. Yes, we've had to increase the prices on some items just based on our suppliers. Three of the things that are harder to find this season, high-end fishing rods, trolling motors, and remember that chip shortage? Yep, fish finders. But he says he has plenty of inventory for the opener, and the truth is, no matter what, what? you're going. I'm going for sure. <laughs> because this sport has them, hook, line, and sinker. I'm like, I'm still getting out there fishing. Nothing will stop me. <laughs> Susan Elizabeth Littlefeld, WCCO, 4 News. The Minnesota opener kicks off Saturday morning for walleye, sauger, and northern pike. The Wisconsin season opened last week.